What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DIY Corey coming at y'all with another video. If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel because your boy does these videos three times a week, if not more. I do reviews on my Nike outlet pickups and I do reviews on UAs and rep shoes, however you want to call them. And I merely teach myself and teach y'all at the same time. So this is gonna be a rep slash UA review. And like I said, I'll be teaching myself, teach y'all at the same time. So this is an informational video. We gonna hop right to it. This shoe comes out next month. I cannot remember the date off the top of my head, but it's a special release to me because I love retro ones. Just by me saying that, y'all should know what shoe I'm talking about. If y'all true sneakerheads and y'all follow release dates. But in case you don't know, the shoe I am talking about is gonna be the Flight Retro One High OG. First in flight to be exact, as you see on the tongue. This is a color blocking scheme of white, obsidian blue, in university blue all in one you got the flat leather with the obsidian the nike checks has that new buck which is university blue then you got it on the laces where the laces go and on the toe box and all of this is going to be buttery new buck also on the toe box you got that tumble white leather and on the sides, you got the same thing with the tumble leather. <laughs> the insole, which is one of my favorite things, wish it was Dream Cell, but it is not. I have seen some reviewers say they have Dream Cells coming there, but this one does not. But as you see, this has the AJ23 within a diamond. And this is just a regular foam padded insole. Like I said, some reviewers have said they have had the Dream Cell insoles. This one does not come with that. Nevertheless, most, at least my retro ones that I've had over the years, I've never seen that insole. So seeing that insole, it does not surprise me because I don't see Dream Cell in retro ones. So it's not a big deal, at least to me. And for those that know me, I have a big collection of retro ones. It's gonna be the other one, same thing. You got that obsidian black leather in the back. Tumble white leather on the sides. New Buck Nike checks. And this is gonna be New Buck also. I didn't point that out on the other one. Tumble leather on the toe box. As you see, it does bounce back on this one also. Then you got a new buck going around the toe. And the Air Jordan logo is gonna be gold. Another thing that I noticed that was missing from the shoes that I seen in other reviewers' um, videos was the laces. This one did not come with an extra set of laces, with, which is the obsidian colorway. It only has the one lace, which is the University Blues. <laughs> is it a big deal? A little, but being that Four Kicks is one of my good people, I know they'll make up for it. They could have just left it out when they shipped them. So it's not a really a big deal. Again, I know they'll make up for it. If accidents happen, people move too fast, things happen. So I'm not really tripping on that. Because this, all in all, it's still a great shoe. Even if I don't have those laces, I'm still gonna rock them with the University Blues. And this shoe, does not have no smell, no glue lines, because you would notice 
going from that university blue and that obsidian if there's any type of glue line on the upper but that is not the case for this one as you can see it has the obsidian outsole regular jordan one outsole nothing special you see the same insole on every shoe that is a jordan one the box again like i said these are not released yet so i don't know if it's going to be a special box but this is the box that they came in a normal retro one box my size size 10. but the white paper inside again shout out to 4kick.shop for sending these out super happy to have these because i did not get any of the university blues that came out i missed on the off whites didn't get those either so this is the closest thing i'm gonna get to any university blue carolina blue however you want to say it it's the closest i'm gonna get to those because i don't pay resale and i refuse to pay the prices that those shoes are right now some of for my size at least it's over 400 dollars for off whites it's close to six, I believe. Last time I checked. And I'm not paying that. So I'm gonna rock these and I'm gonna probably try to hit on the release day when they come out. Just so I can do a comparison for y'all. Or I'll wait to see if they come to the Nike outlet. Because if they don't sell out, they always make it there. Or people return them. So I got options. I'm hopefully they sit so they can just make them to the outlets. Y'all cannot buy these. Help me out. Help me get another pair of retro ones. Greatly appreciate it. But that is all that I have for y'all today. Like I said, these are the first in flight Jordan Retro One highs releasing next month. This is your sneak peek at what you can look forward to. If you don't get them, from there, you got another option with four kick. If you don't want to pay retail or resell, that's yet another option. Again, shout out to everybody that has watched the videos. Shout out to everybody that's new. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. I do these videos three to four times a week and I got more on the way. So keep watching, hit that bell notification and stay in tune. Or whenever I drop videos. It's your boy DIY Kari signing out. Peace.